Hey guys, my name is Jibran and if you are new here, then welcome to my channel. Just to give you an overview of the channel, I make videos for expats living in Germany and until now I have covered like many different topics which like every expert need like for example insurances in Germany, how to find jobs in Germany, visa processes in Germany, SIM cards in Germany and many other things. So if you are looking for one stop solution, then you can first subscribe the channel and then check out all the videos that I have uploaded until now. And maybe you will find something which you are looking for for quite some time. Beside this, I have also added some must watch videos in the video's description. So you can check that out. Today I thought that why not give you an overview of the tax classes and income tax in Germany and how you can reduce your taxes and apply for tax returns. Let's start with the tax classes. There are six tax classes in Germany. The tax class one, everybody who's either single, widowed or separated will automatically lie in this class. Tax class two, everybody who is single parent lies in this class. Tax class three, everybody who is married and earning higher than your spouse in tax class five gets this class. Tax class four, everybody who is married and both spouses earning something similar, like has the same salary or maybe like a thousand euros difference, then they both lies in tax class four. Tax class five, everybody who is married and earning less than your spouse in tax class three. If you are also not working, then you will still get this tax class five. So everybody who's earning less and are not working will be in this tax class five if you're married. Then comes the tax class six, everybody who is doing a second job gets this class. Here, it doesn't matter if you are married or not. It's just like if you have a second job, then you get this class. Now you may ask that you have already arrived in Germany and how you will get the tax class. Well, don't worry about that. The day you do your city registration like uh, this Anmeldung in German, then you have automatically registered also with your finance office of your city. And after a few weeks, like at a, let's say six weeks, you will get your tax number and the tax class is automatically assigned to you based on your marital status at the time of city registration. If you are employed, then you also find your tax class on your salary slip. Another important thing which I want to mention here is that suppose you are married in Germany, like suppose you just recently got married in Germany and your spouse does this city station, then by default, the finance office will assign the tax class four to both of you. If both of you are working and have a similar salary, then it doesn't matter. But if one of you is not working, then you need to fill out a form and then send it to the finance arm to tell them that which one of you will get the tax class number three and which one of you will get tax class number five. I will add this form in the video's description so you can check it out. So you have to fill out this form and then send it to finance arm in order to change your tax class. Now you have this question like, let's say how much more one spouse should earn in order to be in tax class three and another one in tax class five. I will discuss this in a moment but before that I wanted to say the things which I just explained it is just an overview of tax classes and now let's discuss how much income tax you pay in Germany according to your tax class because in some tax classes you pay more income tax and in some tax classes you pay less income tax let me give you an example like for example when I was single I was paying more taxes and now after getting married I am in tax class number three and now I am paying less income tax so income tax depends on your in tax class but it is not like that, like even if you earn like 100 euros per month, then you have to pay tax on it. There is a limit on it. Like suppose if you earn up to 9,744 euros per year in 2021, then the amount is tax free, which is called Grundfreibetrag in German. Another thing which you might have heard is that you pay 42% tax in Germany. This doesn't mean that if you earn like 9,745 euros, then you automatically pay 42% income tax on it. This percentage applies if you are earning 57,919 euros or more, then you pay 42% marginal income tax. If you're earning something between 9,744 euros to 57,919 euros, then you are paying some percentage of your gross income, but not 42%. Let me show you this table. As you can see here that if you earn 10,000 euros, then you pay only 14.51% marginal income tax. And if you earn 30,000 euros, then you pay only 30.52% marginal income tax. And when you get 60,000 euros gross income, then you pay 42% income tax. If you want to know how much taxes you have to pay on your salary, then I will add a link to the German tax calculator in the description. And there you can give your details and it will tell you how much taxes you will pay on your given yearly income. If I show you the same table for tax class three, then you can see how much tax you can save if you're married in Germany and your spouse is either 
not working or earning less than you. If you are not married and also not Christian, then you can choose not to pay for the church tax. This way you also save around 600 to 800 euros per year depending on your income. Another way to reduce your taxes is by filing the tax return every year for the previous year. On average, you get around like 1000 euros back in Germany. You can use a free software from finance office named Esther to declare taxes, but it is in German and too complicated, at least for me. I, I can't use it because there are so many things, so many fields. So what I do, I use this platform called Wundertax. They charge around 35 euros per year. But if you use the link in the description, then you get some discount on this 35 euros. I've already made some videos for student taxes in Germany and inshallah, I will also make some for employees in Germany. And actually this topic of uh, taxes is not that easy it's quite tough and covering all the things in one video it is also not that simple that is why I need some time to compile and tell you everything what you need to know uh, in order to apply for the tax returns as an employee now before I go further I just wanted to give you a small disclaimer that I am not a tax consultant so before proceeding to anything do your own research or consult a professional which I will tell you in a moment um, you can also consult them if you want so I have discussed that one spouse gets class number three and the other one gets class number four. When one is earning more than the other or if both spouses are earning something similar, then both gets class number four. The problem here is that how to decide if you are in class number three, four or five. In order to find about this, there is a calculator that you can put your, your income and your spouse income and it will calculate uh, things for you. But this calculator is not that accurate. So if you want an expert opinion that they will tell you which one suits you the best, then I have a platform named called Your Expert. They have specialists for almost all the fields. You can go to their website and fill out the form. It is free to fill out the form. You can also fill it in English if you want, then they will going to assign you the English consultant. Why this is important? Because suppose if you choose to pay more taxes monthly, then you can get a higher tax return at the end of the year. And if you choose to pay fewer taxes, like less taxes monthly, then it could happen that you have to pay some unpaid taxes at the end of the year. It is totally up to you if you want to consult them or not, but because in the end of the day, your total sum of income tax stays the same. Either you pay more now or less. That is all from my side. I hope you already subscribed to the channel and like the video. And if you have any questions regarding this topic or anything else, that you have seen in my uh, older videos then you can comment in the comment section below i will try to answer them see you next time in another video till then ciao ciao